Good morning. So it's Michelle Butt here and Sharon Walters. We are, um, I don't know if you say your hyphenated name. I, don't, I, I do, it, but it's a, hand, it's a mouthful. It's Sharon <laughs> Saraga Walters. <laughs> yes, yes. And both of us are uh, friends and we met through Fem City. And um, we just wanted to stop and acknowledge today because um, today is World Gratitude Day. World Gratitude Day. And uh, Sharon is the gratitude expert. So I had her chatting to uh, the members of my group, the Prosperous Businesswoman, this morning. And we are doing um, gratitude festivities throughout the day with the membership in there. And so Sharon and I thought that we would just do a little video to share this concept with all of you today because gratitude is Sharon's passion and her work and her forte and so she's the expert and um, I just wanted to honor a day like today because there is so much to be grateful for and so many people that touch our lives that I wanted to stop and acknowledge them and acknowledge being grateful for this life and uh, what did you you we just shared a little story to, with each other this morning and did you want to elaborate on that well which one uh, well, why don't you share the um, the origin of World Gratitude Day? Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, because um, yeah, for those of you who don't know um, how World Gratitude got started, which I did not know until last year, actually, um, it was started by a gentleman. His name is Sri Chimnoy. He's, he's from India, and he's a spiritual and meditation teacher. And he, he did that um, in, in the UN. And, and that was in 1965. Um, they, he had suggested that there should be a day um, that gives thanks to the world and that the whole world could celebrate. And then in 1977, they honored Sri Chimnoy at a ceremony in New York at the UN New York headquarters. And they honored him for, and this resolution was passed in 1977. So World Gratitude Today has now become a worldwide movement. And it's the 40, today is the 44th World uh, Gratitude Day. So that's really, it's a wonderful thing. And, you know, as Michelle said, yes, I, I have really, my life is dedicated to gratitude and, and, and using it in my life and for those who are open and want to, um, to share it with them as well. And at first I thought, well, wait a minute, you know, one day, but, you know, I got to thinking about it. One day is a great start. It's a great reminder. It's a, it's a great continuation for people to really stop today and to really use the day today to um, really use your practice of gratitude. Um, you know, saying hello to people, smiling, just really putting the attention on that. Um, I do, I really, I think it's a wonderful idea and it's a wonderful way to, to honor Sri Chimnoy who started this many years ago. Yeah, and I think having a day, even though it's like Mother's Day or Father's Day, we have a day where we honor people, but it, it's we should be doing it every day, right? And so um, the World Gratitude Day, I think, is a reminder to stop and find gratitude, and then that acknowledgement can then begin a practice that um, continues every day. Yes. And I was telling Sharon this morning that I kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I was thinking, oh, I got to do World Gratitude Day today. I am not in, in the headspace for that. And, um, and before we hopped on the call to kick off our festivities at 10 a.m. in my other group, um, I had a call with Audible and... Uh, I won't go into the details of it, but I was trying to fix a problem there. And um, the lovely person on the phone, just be before we were going, I, I was hanging up. She said, you know what? I'm going to give you an extra credit on me. Buy a book on me today. And, and I wasn't expecting it. I didn't need it, but it was just such a beautiful gesture. And, you know, you could say, oh, it's a audible credit, but it was something someone didn't have to do that was kind and, um, and it just completely changed my mood. And I realized, oh, I'm grateful for this kindness. And it's those little things that when you stop and realize oh, there's still beauty in the world, there's still kindness, there's, despite all the crazy, there's, there's just energy that is loving, then that 
is what gratitude is about. And when you acknowledge that, then it can shift your entire day. Like my mood is so different and it is just because of that one little thing. And that person may never know it. And, you know, that's part of your work, writing those thank you letters, right? And I don't even know who she is. And so I may never tell her that, but I'm sending that energy back to her and I'm paying it forward. And I think that is the spirit of gratitude and that is the spirit of acknowledging it on a day like today. So, um, so thank you for sharing this discussion with me. And, for doing this little after video so that we can share with our friends um, wherever we want to share. And uh, and then you had a little anecdote to my- To your <laughs> my story. <morning. laughs> so so yeah, I shared with you that, I don't know why it came to me, but um, when Michelle shared her story, what came to me was to, to, to let you know that perhaps when you got up in the morning and were feeling that way that you were feeling, the words came, stop and give me one gratitude. Um, because the same way you shared about how much better you felt instantly when she was so kind to you, you know, that's the secret of gratitude. And that's what is amazing about it and how fast gratitude can shift. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything else that is more pure and or anything that shifts yourself as gratitude. And that's the greatest secret that I know and why I do the work that I do. And the other thing you were talking about, the other thing about gratitude is it brings you to your heart. It gets mm -hmm. you out of your head to your heart. That is the other amazing gift that gratitude brings to you. And, and I just so encourage today and the days following, really notice how the shift, how you're feeling, what it does. Because the more and more you see it, feel it, the more and more you're, you're gonna keep doing it. And, and, and this, the other thing about that is, it's something that's a life, process. It will not, you can't just stop it and it's going to carry with you. No, it's not a bad practice, but it's one that really is a lifer that you, yeah. you have to keep doing, but it's worth it. Yeah, It truly is worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's interesting that you're even saying that, that it does connect to your heart because instantly when you, when you think about something that you're grateful for, you do, you feel that heart opening mm -hmm. and it is an energy shift. And I think that is you know, it, in, in face reading that, you know, there's that warrior kind of thinking space that feeds into the captivator love and passion space. And that's exactly what, um, you know, thinking of something to be grateful for, and then moving into the, the love of, of the energy of gratitude moves that energy along. And so wherever you, when it's stuck somewhere, just by doing that, you start moving things and everything shifts. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think people don't realize how powerful that is. And, um, and so I, I love that you do that work. I love that we were able to just share this little discussion today. And um, I am very grateful for you and for all you do for me as my friend and for all you do for the women in um, my Facebook group uh, every week, reminding us about gratitude and then today sharing this day with me. Thank you so much. And thank you for um, inviting me to, to share World Gratitude Day and to share what I love most and that's gratitude. Thank you. Well, thank you everyone who's watching this and uh, have a wonderful, grateful day. <laughs> Bye.